Here's your latest flash briefing from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. The Mass Department of Public Health releasing the latest COVID-19 cases. There are now a total of 39,643 confirmed cases in our state. That's up 1,566 from Sunday. So far, 1,809 people have died from COVID-19, with 103 new cases reported Monday. 169,398 total tests have been conducted so far. Now, cases of the coronavirus in Springfield are nearing 800. During the city's weekly briefing, medical professionals from local hospitals say they believe COVID-19 cases will be present for the foreseeable future. However, those from Bay State Health and Mercy say they continue to see stabilizing numbers within their facilities. Because their reports are positive within the hospitals, officials say there's now needs to be a focus on hotspots within Western Mass communities. And the new pandemic unemployment assistance is up and running here in Massachusetts. That program provides up to 39 weeks of unemployment benefits to those who are unable to work due to a COVID-19 related reason, but are not eligible for regular or extended benefits. That includes self-employed workers, independent contractors, and those with limited work history. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. Tonight, clear and cold with temperatures dropping into the upper 20s and low 30s. Should see some frost out there through early tomorrow morning, so make sure that you cover any sensitive vegetation if you do have it outside already, even though technically our growing season hasn't gotten started yet. Tomorrow, a bit of a different story. Temperatures do climb back toward the middle 50s, but in the afternoon, a strong cold front comes through with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Now, a few of these storms, isolated uh, severe risk is there. It is on the low side. We'll most likely see a few strong storms, though, that could pack winds of 30 to 50 miles an hour, some small hail and cloud to ground lightning. It's going to be windy either way, and a wind advisory does begin tomorrow at 5 for the Pioneer Valley and will continue out into the pre-dawn hours on Wednesday. Wednesday stays blustery and much cooler. Highs will be back to the middle 40s for many with wind chills in the 30s. Thursday, we're back to near normal temperatures with highs in the mid 50s and a little rain is possible to end the week. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.